already. Well, and I have a few games underneath my belt, and a little bit better than I was before at this game. Then, uh, I'm up to a level nine right now, so see my fair share of battle. Obviously, not a veteran or anything, but I am a battle-hardened rookie so far. I uh, did a lot of reading up on how to play this game, and a lot of it has to do with timing and defense, which I am doing so... Oh, man, look at that run. Which was a prime example of doing right there. Uh, timing and defense seems to be, like, the two key concepts to this game. Once you learn how to get those down, obviously, as I'm saying that, you get stabbed right in the heart, but... Um, yeah, it seems uh, time and defense keep um, uh, key things in this game, and uh, essentially just outsmarting your opponent in battle and picking their fights. Obviously, you shouldn't just jump right in the middle of you know three people and start swinging your sword around. And that's what I like about games like this. Um, games that just kind of give you basic tools and they have a certain way of playing them, and pretty much everything that you do. Or everything that happens, whether how well you do or how bad you do, is pretty much on you. Um, it, I, lo I like that, uh, like that, that type of uh, competitive gameplay. Uh, something like unlike Call of Duty, like you know, Call of Duty. I play Call of Duty competitively when I was younger, back in like middle school and like early high school. And um, I know I was discussing this with one of my subscribers. Um, how easy it can be to play Call of Duty. I mean, you know, let's face it, it's really easy to play Call of Duty. All you have to do is learn to learn where the teams are, where the spawns are, and where the good spots are on the map. Once you get that down, it's just a matter of finding people and taking like three seconds to shoot them. And um, I've just I've played Call of Duty for such a long time that every time I go back to a Call of Duty game, it's just easy for me to pull off at least a two to two to one ratio and or, you know, just help the team win, but uh, I'm not really trying to brag Call of Duty skills or anything, I'm just making the comparison that a game like Chivalry, where you really just have to learn how to play the game and not, you know, uh, I, I guess you could say it, games like this are more one-on-one, -on -one. oh shit, hold on, that's not gonna end well. No. <laughs> it's just a flood of red coming at me, that was terrifying. But, um, but yeah, essentially, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, comparing Call of Duty to games like Chivalry. Um, Call of Duty, I'm sorry, if you think you're great at Call of Duty, in my personal opinion, that's not saying much. Um, I just, I don't know, maybe that's just the old bitter me saying that, like, I'm sick of playing Call of Duty because all it is is just, uh, let's face it, it's just kids and teenagers who are hyped up on Monster Energy drinks and going for 50 kills every game it's pretty much all it's become I mean you know there are the Call of Duty competitors out there that actually play the game you know in a smart fashion and in a mature fashion but like 90% of Call of Duty now is just kids screaming into their mics about how it's lagging and how they got camped and quick scoped and crap like that but um, I guess bringing it back all to chivalry Chivalry is more. Uh, chivalry is more of a. Um, it's outsmarting. It's it's a lot. It's a smarter game. It's just games like this where you know it, you have to play in such a way that um, your skill really stands out. Uh, and that kind of reflects in your score, I guess you could say, uh, how well you do. And I, I just, I, I really enjoy games that are um, maturely built, I guess you could say. Built with the, um, built with like pure skill in mind. Like you have to learn how the game works. And you have to, like once you learn how the game works, then all it becomes is outsmarting your opponent. And games like that are just, they are so fun to play. I know I didn't do so well in that, that last round, I know it was negative but um i promise i have i have been doing better i, I guarantee that i just think once i get into the talking mode of making videos i kind of take myself out of the game and i don't really focus so much on what i'm doing but um yeah i just i wanted to say just you know 
pretty much that's just my two cents in the in what I believe is considered a good competitive multiplayer game. And I wouldn't say I'm playing this competitively right now, obviously, and you know, I certainly don't plan on doing so, but it's just, you know, it's just a small thing that, you know, the fact that games like this exist makes me <laughs> as this, you know, as kitty or kid like as it sounds oh shoot, wait, yeah, I'm red, never mind. That was battle crying right at me, it was terrifying. Um but I just, I don't know, growing up and having been a gamer all my life, finding games like this where, you know, you're really, it's fun. It's still fun to play games like this, but you, at the same time, you have to know what you're doing. Otherwise, you get your ass kicked. It's just, it's good. It's it's good to know that they're giving this out there. And I don't have to stick to playing Call of Duty all the damn time and I'm having to put up with little kids crying about everything. But, um, and hey, if you're one of them, that play Call of Duty and you do that kind of stuff, then hey, I'm not, I honestly am not discouraging you from doing so, but I'm just saying I don't prefer that type of gaming anymore. It's just not for me. I've had my, I had a good three or four years in the competitive community of Call of Duty and I had at one time been part of one of the better teams on, back when GameBattles.com, I don't know if anyone remembers that website, but uh, back when that was actually a big thing, um, I was in one of the top teams of Call of Duty 3, and um, just you know, I just had a lot of competitive experience back when Call of, from Call of Duty 2 to like Call of Duty 4. I had a lot of competitive experience, but then I just kind of stopped playing it because I got annoying playing online. But but yeah. Uh, anyway, so games like this, glad they exist. I'm glad people develop them. And I'm glad that they're fun, and I don't have to worry about, um, you know, like, I don't have to worry about anything that is game-related that would uh, hinder my ability to play a game well, if that makes sense. Um, but, yeah, just happy games like this exist, and I enjoy this game. This is fun. This is a lot of fun, especially since I'm a huge medieval uh, warfare type of person, not medieval warfare the game, but just in general, the whole concept of medieval warfare is one of my favorite concepts of all time, and so this is just a fitting setting for me to be playing in right now. But I guess enough chit chat. Let's actually play. Let me let me let me see if I can get some uh, good kills in here. Well, that didn't work out very well. I'm telling you, when I start chit-chatting, it just doesn't work out very well in terms of my ability to play this game. To play any game, for that matter. So, I'm going to start paying attention now. See what I'm doing. How am I doing it right now? Oh, and one! Great start. Fantastic start. I haven't contributed anything to my team other than a death. I've decided to get try to get used to the Man of Arms class because speed is my kind of style. I love playing with agility. I love playing with, uh, you know, being able to think on your feet, um, outsmarting your opponent much quicker than he can think. You know, it did, I, it, I certainly like that. Man in Arms seems to be that kind of class. It's hard to get used to at first. It's definitely not an easy class to, to start off. Why did I change to that? What? I could have sworn I had clicked. Oh, man. Oh, that was like going off about Man of Honor. I accidentally spawned in as a vanguard. Great. Now let's see how well we end up doing with this. I'll pitch in my two cents. Yeah! Primal battle cries. Can't have a medieval war uh, battle without those. Yes! Oh, I don't want to hurt my teammate. Ah, got an archer. Oh, no. One down. Serpentine, serpentine. Like Neo from the Matrix, let's go. Never mind, he's dead. Alright, teammates! We're on the same team. Same team. Same team. I promise, I know how to speak English. Rawr. Dang. It's a pretty graphic scene. Each one of you is worse than the other. 
<laughs> Each one of you is worse than the other. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep battle crying. I don't know English, so I'm just gonna keep yelling noises. That was the knight that was dropped on his head at an early age and just completely destroyed my broker's area. Yes! Oh no! You, sir, do not exist anymore. Oh, wait, teammate? Oh, you're our teammate. See, some people on this game, they dress themselves in a way that I can't tell if they're on my team or not. And it bothers me. Listen, don't run from me. I have throwing knives. But I don't know how to use them very well. Uh, what happened there? Oh, and I caught the backswing of that guy's sword. Darn it. Thought I was invincible. Ooh. You guys got an arm hanging out there. <laughs> I, love the, I love the sound effects in this game. The audio in this game is spot on. Everything from the screaming to the dialogue to the noises that come out of people's bodies to the banging of swords and shields. It's great. Alright, let's go. And take on the world. One iron dressed man at a time. Oh, that's. Oh, oh, hey, okay, none of you guys are on my team. Wonderful. It's just a bunch of men screaming and holding swords. This is about as manly and primal as it gets. Look at these guys roasting a turkey in the middle of a battle. Or are they just studying it? That's called a fire! Oh, I don't think that guy is very sportsmanlike. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I meant to block. Not to overhead swing and just open myself up to a... A nice little surgical procedure across the, the chest area. Notice archers like to do that a lot. Get their sword out and just start going on a poking spree. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Go Robin Hood. Oh. Dear. <laughs> that was talking right to me. Oh no. Teammates. Come on. Let's all get along here. Let's stop fighting, kids. Stop. That's not very nice. Ah. Uh. Jimmy killed Timmy again. God dang it. It always happens. Come on. Get him. Yeah. Now fight each other. Go. <laughs> oh darn. It appears that there is no the next round. So I figured. Ah. Well. I have to do better next time. Uh, as always guys thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already come check out the channel usual youtube rant that everyone says <laughs> but um as always thanks for watching thanks for the support and we'll catch you guys later